very, very good defense. Uh, this, this will be, I think, a stiffer test. I, I know it will be a stiffer defensive test than what the Browns faced last week in Dallas. I mean, they're going crazy down there in Dallas right now after, after that defensive performance. Now, I think they should be giving more credit to the Browns offense than they are, uh, but they are kicking themselves down there in Dallas and saying all kinds of things. But that that shouldn't happen this week. These guys are really good. They're um, they're number one overall in in allowing in allowing yards. They're number one in allowing points. They're number one in a lot of things right now. Uh, however, I don't think we should be. I don't want to say fooled by that, but they have not played the powerhouses of the NFL either. This is not a team once again that has faced the Russell Wilsons and the Tom Brady's of of the NFL. But they're doing well so far in what they're doing, and you know they're they're taking it away. They've got I can't remember how many interceptions, but uh, they've got a number of seven. They've got seven interceptions, and uh, you know that's a significant amount. So Baker's going to have to be on his p's and q's this weekend. All right. So you've got well, you know those those uh, Dallas people. All all they have to understand is the winner of that division might only have to win about three games. Right. So exactly. And they could but, probably yeah, do that. I mean, to have that offense that Dallas has paired with that defense, it, it's really a shame to see that kind of an offense go to waste. I mean, it would be good for the NFL if that was a playoff-bound team, but not. it might not happen. Okay, last year the Browns under Freddie Kitchens went into Indianapolis and had a, a couple of practices, and it didn't go well at least. Maybe it, maybe it went the way Freddie wanted it to go, but it didn't, didn't go well at all. Are there still some people involved from last year that are still hanging around and can't wait to get a little piece of flesh? You know, I don't think that that will be a factor. I, I don't think so. They're, you know, they've got, uh, you know, a new quarterback in Phillip Rivers. I don't really think that, that that's going to come into play too much. I think that, uh, you know, I think the focus this game will be on, you know, on their defense, trying to slow down uh, the Browns, the Browns offense and just trying to see what they can do about uh, this running game, even though they don't have Nick Chubb seeing what they can do about uh, Odell Beckham jr. And now they've got a lot to think about. They've got a bunch of trick plays. They've got reverses, jet sweeps. They have a very creative play caller in Cleveland that they have to worry about. Well, the uh, Colts, of course, uh, offensively, you have to worry about Johnny Unitas and Lenny Moore, don't you? Yes, you definitely do. Thank you very much. All right, so the key players, Philip Rivers and Jonathan Taylor. What do we need to know about Taylor? Well, he's coming off of a, a 100-yard game against the Bears, and, you know, he's he's young, but he's doing a really nice job. And I don't think that, that teams have really tested the Browns' run defense all that much. I think that, you know, if you can get to the second level, there are some issues there. Uh, because, uh, you know, because their linebackers have been so banged up. But, um, yeah, you know what? He's, he's doing a really nice job so far, and he's somebody that they have, have got to watch out for. High-scoring game, low-scoring game, middle-scoring game, what do you got? I think middle-scoring game. Uh, once again, I, I don't think that the Colts' defense are, are the world beaters that they maybe seem like they are right now because they haven't played – the toughest teams in the NFL. Uh, they've played the Jets, they've played the Jaguars, they've played the Bears. You know, so these you know these are not teams that you know that are just going to try to kill you. What what and is they, what does a win here for the Browns do to the franchise? Well, I think it would be fantastic, obviously, because they would be four and one for the first time since nineteen ninety four. No, nineteen. And they went to the playoffs that year. Yeah, they actually went eleven and five that year, and they that was won the Vinny that was the Vinny Bernie uh, affair. Yeah, so you know if if they can if they can get to four and one, I don't want to say that you're going to guarantee a playoff spot, but you are well well on your way at four and one to making the playoffs. As it stands right now, I think they have a seventy percent chance. I saw that earlier today. They've got a seventy percent chance of making the playoffs right now. So, you know, I, I, think, I think that you can start making plans to be watching some postseason games. Yeah. It's funny.